Hello everybody, I'm Scott Davenport and here's a quick tip on creating a double exposure effect. I've seen a lot of photos recently with this double exposure effect and the technique is very easy using perfect layers. So here I have a photo of the Las Vegas Strip and I want to do a double exposure effect on the mini Eiffel Tower. So first, duplicate the layer in the layer stack. Next, using the transform tool, enlarge the layer using the scale slider. You hover over the scale label and it gives you a double-headed arrow you can drag left and right to resize that layer. Now to better see what's happening, reduce the opacity of the top layer. I'll bring it down to about 25%. Now the transform tool is still selected. You can click and drag the layer and reposition it. And uh, I'll actually increase the scale here a little further and move it a bit to the right so that it overlaps better with this other building. Okay, I like the tower. The lower third of the photo feels a little busy. I'll clean that up in a minute. With the double exposure layer in place, click Apply. Then select the Crop tool, click Fit to Canvas, and click Apply again. Lastly, I'm going to use the masking bug to clean up the lower third of the photo. I'll use the vignette preset to start with an elliptical shaped mask. Adjust the size, shape, and feather to your liking, and bam, in a couple of minutes you've got a nice double exposure effect done all within perfect layers. I'm Scott Davenport, thanks for watching.